All right, well, so we have a bit of a chipmunk problem in my house. And, uh, you know, not only are they burrowing holes in the yard, in my lawn, they burrow holes right up under the porch and up against the house. I know they get under the sunroom from time to time. And they get on top of the bird feeders and they shake the bird seed down. So I'm like, all right, enough. And I've, I've used rat traps in the past. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to kill them. I, you know, I understand they're doing what they're doing because that's in their nature. But it's in my nature to protect my house and my things. And they're causing a problem. So I made this. And it's a kitty litter bucket. And on these buckets, the lid, it hinges up. And then this top section stays in place. All right, my children causing trouble. Oh, Elton wants to be part of the video. Thank you for the hug, Tina. But anyway, so I put these sticks on here, bungee cords, and then what it is, is this string uh, goes through here, goes around to the back, and then in the back here, there's a little piece of metal that comes out the back, which is attached to a long stick. And the stick has peanut butter on it so that when the stick gets tipped down, the loop comes off the thing and slides off. And of course, the bungee cords pull the door shut. And if you see here, let's see if I can do this. We have a visitor. And that's awesome that it works. I'm stoked. Uh, I put this out about two hours ago. I caught the first one in about an hour. Drove him about two and a half miles to the forest preserve and then uh, let him free thought I was humanitarian. Now I've got another one in less than two hours. And I don't know how many times this is going to happen, but I'm like, is this really something I want to do where I have to, like, every time I catch one, shuttle these creatures out to, you know, faraway lands. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad my design worked. Apparently it worked a little too well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I gotta figure something out. I think maybe what I need is like a holding pen where I can just like accumulate like, you know, four or five of them and then take them as a big family out so they can live in the forest. Maybe that's what I need to do. So, uh, yeah, anyway, living with nature.